and execute it on the receiver sensor node and see the message. But suppose at the same time, if the third node will try to use the same ID and try to communicate with the sensor node, then it won't allow. So let's select the same part. And if I enter the same ID here, it will give you an error that already session has been established between two sensor nodes. So it will not allow you to do the communication at the same time. So that's, these are done to provide an additional security so that any intruder node cannot come in between and cannot perform attacks like man in the middle attack, node capture or cloning attack. Thank you very much. That's it from my side. Now we'll, we'll just see the clustering arrangement and we'll just see how we can do send packets between the sensor nodes in the real environment. Thank you.